WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update and a bit of a mixed bag out here. Dow's down 110 while the S&P's up 15. The S&P's up 15. The spot volatility is up 71 cents. That always makes me say, hmm, something to think about. You've got the NDX 100. It's strong today. It's up 215 points, but not as strong as the semis. They're up 3%. They're trade out at 3704. 114 is the print there. Gold's up $30, and the XAU is back 59 cents. Another one of those things that make you say, hmm, something to think about. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here as we do during this time frame. The 2 o'clock will begin by looking at the Dow. We see that is the upper left-hand corner. And here what you can see is today is likely going to become bar number 6 of a TD9 count. you got a bear sash candle. There's certainly an A to B equals CD pattern. If we do get a bear sash candle, it requires a close below yesterday's open. That would signal that the Dow Jones Industrial should pull back to the 35.853 area or thereabouts. That is its oscillator and change line. We do not have that signal in the S&P P, the NDX 100, or the Russell 2000. So the Dow would be on its own with regard to that topping signal. But again, support in the 35,853. The S&P and the NDX 100, they suggest that today will be bar number seven. If there is going to be a top, that should form between tomorrow, Friday, and next Tuesday. The Russell 2000, I don't even know how to figure that chart out. I can just tell you that it doesn't show anything like the uh, Dow, the S&P, or the NDX 100. So Steve is going to have to really study that one. We'll get back to you tomorrow. The semis, I don't need to study that. That is on fire out here. It negated its TD9 count uh, last week, I believe. A nice wide-ranging bar. Bar number six, this suggests higher price as well. The transports would have that explosive day a couple of days ago. Just a couple of inside bars here, but still remains bullish. Spot volatility, you can see that. As long as it remains below 1780, it's still bullish for the S&P 500. And there's the XAU. In the XAU, again, you've got gold and silver up big time today. The XAU was up big time. It's pulled back. It's testing that green oscillator and change line. It's actually trading below it. And it closed today below 131.62, which suggests that there could be a further retracement. So that's what's going on as we take a look at the indices out here. Uh, not really much else for me to uh, share with you. So uh, what I will share with you is that we've got two amazing hours coming up. you got your favorite polar bear, David White. He's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow live at 1 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you then. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.